I'm Aqua Alex, and you're watching Aqua Alex Live. Let's learn about tropical fish today. Hello, tropical fish keepers. Welcome to another episode of Aqua Alex Live. I'm your host, Aqua Alex Cardinelli. I hope you're doing great on this Saturday evening. I welcome you to another species profile episode here on Aqua Alex Live. Today, I'm going to be talking about a personal favorite childhood species that I got to raise and keep as a child, and I have kept them for many, many years. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Red Hook Silver Dollar Fish. It's a fish that I have a lot of experience with and a fish that I've kept for many, many years. And I've kept numerous amounts of them and I have grown them from juvenile stage all the way to adulthood. And when I tell you that Red Oak Silver Dollars are one of my favorite fish, I really mean it because I've had them for a lot of the freshwater aquariums that I've had over the past. I've always had a school of Red Hook Silver Dollars in them. So today, I'm going to tell you all about the Red Hook Silver Dollar, and I'll tell you how to keep them in your home aquarium if you're thinking about getting a school of Red Hooks for your large, semi-aggressive community aquarium. So this is going to be a fun show where you get to learn about one of my most passionate tropical fish species that I am most passionate about. So I've got some awesome images and a few videos to start today's broadcast, and then we'll start learning about the Red Hook Silver Dollar. So one thing I will say before we get started is that the Red Hook Silver Dollar is in the same family that piranhas and pacus are in, and that is Cirrosomidae which includes Pygrocentris, Cerasoma, Mylius, Mentinus, and of course the infamous Paku. So technically speaking, Red Oak Silver Dollars and other species of Silver Dollars are piranhas, but they're not going to kill everything in your aquarium. All right, so to start today's video, I'm going to show you some images of my current Red Oak Silver Dollar, and then I'm going to show you some videos of past Red Hooks that I have owned. So right now, I'm going to show you my current Red Hook. And I got my current Red Hook back in the summer. I believe it was back in July of this year. He was in the trade-in tank at my local fish store. And sadly, he was the only Red Hook. But I'll be getting him some more Red Hook buddies very shortly when they come into my local fish store. But as you can see, he's a very beautiful red hook with a, a silver body, a nice red anal fin, and some orange spots that the red hooks get as they mature. Very, very colorful fish. And then here is the picture when I first got him. You can see a much better picture of his orange spots. It, and his red hook, which is very, very beautiful. All right. Now I'm going to show you a video of a red hook I had years ago when I lived in Massachusetts. It had a nice coloration to it. Red hooks, silver dollars, and tinfoil barbs. Very nice. Look at that orange face on this one. All right. That was a very gorgeous uh, red hook. Now, here is a school of Red Hooks I had when I first moved here to Florida in my, what was a 150-gallon aquarium before it leaked. Let's check it out. This is my new 125-gallon aquarium. Now, as you can see, I just added my fish to it. I've got five Red Hooks that were dollars, four Red Hooks about four inches, and one big one about six to seven inches. I got a common Pocostomus in there, as you can see him in the back. Here's a roll. All right, so those are all the red hooks that I'm going to show you for today's video that are my personal red hooks. So you guys have seen how beautiful they are. 
So later on in the video, you're going to see other people's Red Hook Silver Dollars and how gorgeous they get as they get older. So now let's learn about the Red Hook Silver Dollar. Do you have any questions or comments about the Red Hook Silver Dollar? As always, post them in the chat or in the comments, and I will answer your questions on the Red Hook Silver Dollar. So if you're watching this video live, you can post your questions in the YouTube chat or in the comments, and I will answer them. And if you're catching a replay of today's video, I will answer your questions nonetheless also. All right. So uh, I want to start today's video with a quick little fact that not many people may know about the Red Hook Silver Dollar. So here we go. Did you know the Red Hook Silver Dollar fish were seen in the movie Sea Spot Run, which came out in 2001, in the pet store scene, and they were labeled as piranhas. Check it out. So I'm going to show you the video. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted. But this is the video of the Red Hook Silver Dollars in the movie Sea Spot Run. Here it is, folks. Oh, be careful. There's piranha in there. You get the guns. Let's get that mutt. Awesome. So as you guys saw, those were Red Hook Silver Dollars in the movie Sea Spot Run. Unfortunately, they didn't get as big of a press as Finding Dory like the Blue Hippo Tang or the Clownfish got with those movies. But it was pretty interesting to see Red Hook Silver Dollars in a feature film. So Sergeant Slaughter, Slaughterhouse tuning in. Special shout out to Sergeant Slaughter for tuning in. He said he doesn't have any questions, but I'm looking forward to learning all about it. And he says, I love how deadly they make them seem, but they're actually quite peaceful. Uh, they're not, they don't harm humans at all. So our first question on Red Oaks comes from my friend Steve's Aquatics. And Steve says, how long do they live? So I had a Red Hook Silver Dollar live for about six years. Um, I bought him at juvenile age, a juvenile age and I raised him into adulthood. So I think it's safe to say that Red Hook Silver Dollars can live quite a while, anywhere from six to ten years and sometimes even more. All right. So let's get to our first topic tonight. Why do I like the Red Hook Silver Dollar? Well, there are various reasons why I like the Red Hook Silver Dollar. First and foremost is they look like a Sarasomus piranha, like the red, like the rhombus, the black rom piranhas and the golden spillow piranhas. I like their appearance. I like how they resemble piranhas, but they are actually quite peaceful and they can live with other fish. I love their colorations as red oaks mature. They develop nice orange spots and a nice orange belly. Very, very colorful fish. I also like that they are a large growing silver dollar, growing anywhere from 10 to 12 inches. So they can be kept with larger cichlids and other larger predatory fish. And I like that they are uh, readily available in the aquarium hobby. So um, anyone that has a large aquarium can get them. And I like that they're a very easy fish to keep, very hardy. They, they adapt well to any water parameters, and they can be kept with just about anything that is too large to be eaten. So those are some of the reasons why I personally like the Red Hook Silver Dollar. So I just slaughter says, I imagine their similar look to Piranha gave swimmers a scare. <laughs> That's true. They do look a lot like uh, piranhas. That's a good point. All right, so let's get into the Red Hook Silver Dollar Care Guide, and let's learn about keeping the Red Hook Silver Dollar in the home aquarium. So their scientific name, and yes, I can pronounce this one, is Mylius rubberopinus, and uh, they're in the Mylius family, which also includes 
the black bar silver dollar, Myelia scumbachi. But the red hooks are the most common Myelia species available in the aquarium hobby. Now, most people only know of the red hook silver dollar under one common aquarium name, but I've come across another one in my years as an aquarium hobbyist. So the common names for this fish are red hook silver dollar and red spotted silver dollar. When I was younger, I went to an oriental tropical fish store and they had uh, adult sized red hooks labeled as red spotted silver dollars. And I think that was because of all the red spots that the adults get. As red hooks mature, like I said, they get to a very colorful uh, adult, very pretty silver dollar species. All right. Their natural origin, they come from South America, just like where the piranhas and pacus live. You can find red hooks in Ecuador, Venezuela, Colombia, Guyana, Suriname, French Guyana, Peru, and Brazil. So red hook silver dollars are pretty much widespread throughout South America, which is why they are so commonly available in the aquarium hobby, because they get exported from Ecuador, Venezuela, Peru, and Colombia. And all those wild fish coming in for those countries always, almost always, include wild caught red hooks being transported into the aquarium hobby. I would say a good 90% of the red hooks available in the aquarium hobby today are almost always wild caught, which is a good thing because I think wild caught fish are fun to keep in the aquarium hobby. All right, so their natural habitat is densely densely planted river tributaries in the wild. So red hook silver dollars and other silver dollar species live where there's a lot of plants. And in the wild, they'll, they'll actually feast on these plants and eat a lot of the live plants, which is why it is difficult keeping red hook silver dollars and other silver dollars with live um, plants in the home aquarium because these silver dollars will gorge on live plants plants unfortunately so it's hard keeping them with live plants but sometimes it does work if you provide them a good diet so i've got a question from my friend steve's aquatics steve says i know they're peaceful but can you keep them with nano fish that's a tough question to answer um i would probably say not to keep them with anything under than an inch because they do have quite a large mouth and I think they could eventually eat a neon tetra or something small like that because they do have quite a big mouth and they do have powerful teeth on them. I feed my chocolate cichlids freeze-dried crickets and my sebrums freeze-dried crickets. And it's actually my red hook that actually eats a lot of them. And he actually can crunch through the cricket shell and devour them. So and I imagine if that was a neon tetra, it'd be a goner instantly so i would not keep red hooks with anything small like that that was a great question all right so now that we know the red hooks na uh, natural origin and their natural habitat which is dense densely pl uh, planted river tributaries and we know that they love live plants so we shouldn't have live plants in our home aquarium because they will eat them let's learn about their full growing size so red hook silver dollars are a large growing species of silver dollars. They'll grow up to 12 inches in length. So this is a pretty big silver dollar, about dinner, a dinner plate size silver dollar with a very nice red hook. So they are a schooling fish. They need to be kept in schools of at least four or five. Um, like I said, I only, I only have one currently because it was the last one that was in the trade-in aquarium, but I do plan on getting at least three or four more when I upgrade my aquarium. So yes, this red up silver dollar does get quite large. So recommended aquarium size for a red up silver dollar is 125 gallons and above. Obviously, the bigger, the better. 
for red hooks. Red hooks are a very active fish. They swim a lot. So they're going to need a decent aquarium of at least six feet or more. Now, obviously, you can grow them out in a 75 or a 90 gallon. But ideally, you'll want to keep them in as big as an aquarium you can because they're a gorgeous fish. They add activity to a nice large aquarium with other semi-aggressive species. And we'll talk about that when we get to tank baits. All right, water conditions for this fish. pH is neutral like any South American fish. 6.4 to 7.2. And the temperature that you want to keep these guys at is 72 degrees to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. And red hooks are a pretty hardy fish. They can adapt to any water parameters, but if I'm being honest, I would aim for a pH of 6.4 to 7.2 and 72 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, let's talk about aquarium care. Now, the Red Oak Silver Dollar does require dim lighting. Just like all Silver Dollar species, all Paku species, and all Piranha species, the Red Oak Silver Dollar can be extremely skittish when it is first added to an aquarium. So when you first get your Red Oak Silver Dollar, they will be skittish for quite a while, possibly a few months. So in order to help with that, I recommend getting plenty of plastic plants and have plants all around the aquarium so that your Red Oak Silver Dollar feels comfortable. So dim lighting and plants will help with their skittishness. But as they get used to their aquarium, they'll stop being so skittish and they'll get used to you. They'll get used to you doing water changes and they'll get used to you coming close to the aquarium to feed them. It is important that we keep red hooks in schools of four or more because they are a schooling fish. Um, and you can also mix different silver dollar species. That is totally fine. Unlike piranhas, you can't really mix like a pygrocentris with a cerasolmus. But silver dollars, you can mix a Mylius riboropinus red hook with mentinus. That totally works out fine. And that could add to your school as well. So keep them in schools of a four or more if you can. And again, if your fish store only has one red hook, you can buy them and then add red hooks later. They're not going to fight because they are a schooling fish. Like I said, you're going to want plastic plants in your aquarium and you're going to want a large aquarium because these fish do grow quite big. Not as big as a red belly paku, but a foot is still a good size. All right, diet for the red hook silver dollar. Red hooks are omnivorous, meaning they will eat meat and vegetable. So it's important that we provide them a good diet consisting of meaty foods and vegetable foods. So a good diet for a red hook silver dollar would include good quality pellet foods like from Akari, New Life Spectrum, Omega-1. I currently feed um, Omega-1 shrimp pellets, Omega-1 krill pellets, and cichlid pellets. And my Red Hook loves all of those. Now, you could also feed a good quality flake food. I use a saltwater herbivorous flake for my flag kill project lotus, but... I noticed that my red hook and my mylosoma silver dollars love that herbivorous flake that I am feeding my flag tail prochilotus. And it is a really good diet for all silver dollars. Now, you could also feed a raw market shrimp to red hooks. Um, I feed my cichlids raw market shrimp and they love it. The red hook will eat raw market shrimp as well. He'll also pick off pieces of tilapia. He loves blood worms, and it is recommended to feed red hooks vegetables like cucumber, lettuce, etc. So overall, the red hook is not a picky eater. It will eat just about whatever is thrown in the home aquarium, but make sure we are providing a good diet for our fish. Because if we, if we provide them a good diet, they're going to have a happy and healthy life. So this is a large growing fish. It does produce a lot of waste. So make sure we are doing 
good water changes, and we have superb filtration. With red hooks, I recommend one water change per week, along with a good diet, and your red hooks will grow in no time. All right. So um, let's talk about tank mates for the red hook silver dollar. Now, the red hook can be kept with a wide variety of different species. It is not aggressive at all. It is a really peaceful fish, and it can live with pretty much anything that is too big to be eaten. Like I said earlier in the show, if you put a neon tetra with a red hook, it could get eaten because the red hook does have a large mouth, and it has relatively sharp teeth on it that can crunch little fish. So good tank mates for red hooks would include medium to large growing fish species. Examples can be angelfish, sevrum cichlids, walru, oscar, geophagus, chocolate cichlids, other silver dollar species. I've got my red hook living with some mylosoma silver dollars, hard belly silver dollars. Um, tiger stripe silver dollars look great with red hooks. Thin bar, black bar sewer dollars look great with red hooks. You could also have Pictus catfish in there, Synodontus catfish, Plecos, Stingrays, Datinoids, Arowanas, etc. So as you can see, there is a plethora of tank mates that can be kept with red hooks. All right. So that pretty much is the care guide for the red hook silver dollar. Now, let's see some videos and photos of other fish keepers, red hook silver dollars. And these are some beautiful red hook silver dollars, by the way, that I'm going to show you. All right. So this first red hook is actually, is actually an adult red hook. I like that orange color on the mouth and chin, a very beautiful species of red hook. These are red hooks that are at a wholesale fish store waiting to be shipped out to local fish stores. And as you can see, they are quite decent sized, even as juveniles, very, very cool fish. This is a half growing red hook. This is almost like teenager size. And as you can see, very colorful red hook and a very nice silver body. This is a school of red hooks. Very, very nice. They look great in trios and more. It's awesome seeing red hook school in a large aquarium. And here are some of the most beautiful red hooks that I've ever seen. These are male red hook silver dollars. And notice how the male red hooks get an orange cheek, orange above their eye, orange spotting, and a little bit of black patches. Red hook silver dollars are one of the most beautiful silver dollar species out there on the market. So if you're looking for a silver dollar to add to your Oscar tank or your semi-aggressive cichlid tank with geophagus and severums, then I think the red hook silver dollar is the perfect choice for you. Red hooks are much cheaper than black bar silver dollars, more commonly available than black bar silver dollars. And they're much hardier than some of the wild caught black bar silver dollars that are out there. All right. So now it's time for my final remarks on the Red Hook Silver Dollar. So they're not expensive by any means of the imagination. You can purchase a juvenile Red Hook about two or three inches from $15 to $25. And I've seen adult red hooks go for about $50 compared to the black bar silver dollar, which you can pay like $40 for a juvenile up to $200 for an adult black bar silver dollar. So if you have a large aquarium and you're looking for a schooling fish to add to your cichlid aquarium, I definitely, definitely recommend getting a red hook silver dollar. So one other remark I would like to make about the red hook is 99.9% .9 of the red hooks coming into the aquarium hobby are wild caught. 
This means that a lot of the times you're going to go to your local fish store and you're going to see red hooks looking very thin and very uh, emancipated, which means that they haven't been fed and they may have some parasites. But don't, don't let that discourage you from getting red hooks. Just quarantine them for a few weeks or a month and they should be good to go. I've had red hooks come in very thin and I used Prozzi Pro and I fed them a good diet and gave them clean water and they were big and bulky within a month. So if you do purchase red hooks and they look to be on the thin side, give them clean water and a good diet and they will bulk up quickly. And if you feed them krill, market shrimp and foods that are high in uh, amino acids, you're going to, to um, up your chances of that red oak getting a nice orange coloration as it grows. So those are my final remarks on the red hook silver dollar, a gorgeous species of silver dollar and one that I think is often overlooked in the aquarium hobby. A lot of people prefer the regular silver dollar or the spotted silver dollar or the black bar silver dollar. But my personal favorite is and will always be the red hook silver dollar. So if you have any questions on the Red Hook Silver Dollar that I did not mention on today's episode, please make sure to leave them in the comments and I will answer your questions about Red Hook Silver Dollars. All right, so my next species profile is going to be on another Cherison from South America and it will be on the Banded Leporinus, Leporinus fasciatus. And that will be next week. So next week, join me on Aqua Alex Live for my next species profile, where I'll be talking about the banded leporinus. Do you have a fish species you want me to talk about? Let me know in the comments or email me your fish species to alexgoyankeescardinelli19 at gmail.com. All right. Get ready for the final Fish Keepers Q&A of 2021. Submit your tropical fish questions to alexgoyankeescardinelli19 at gmail.com. You can ask questions via text or you can film a video and email it to me. I will be doing my final Q&A of 2021 in two weeks time. So you have two weeks to start submitting your questions, and I cannot wait to answer your questions on the final Q&A of 2021. Where did this year go? Time has sure flown by. All right. My last announcement is regarding my Fish Keepers giveaway. Make sure you enter the ultimate Fish Keepers giveaway Brought to you by Tangled Up in Cichlids, Aquatic Rarities, Inc., and Little Egypt Aquarium Club. I've got a $100 gift certificate to Tangled Up in Cichlids, a $100 gift certificate to Aquatic Rarities, Inc., a.k.a. Malone's Monsters, and a gift certificate to Little Egypt Aquarium Club for the three winners. All you've got to do is film a video showing your aquarium and your tropical fish, and talk about what species of fish you want, you would get if you were to win and what aquarium supplies you want. Then simply email that video to my email, alexgoyankeescardinelli19 at gmail.com, and you'll be entered into my giveaway with the winners being announced on my eight-year YouTube anniversary on March 6, 2022. So... As always, at the end of this video, I'm going to play my promo, but I figured I'd remind everyone live to enter the contest. Surprisingly, nobody has entered yet, and that is surprising considering I'm giving away almost three, $300 in prizes. All right, last but not least, don't forget to support Aqua Alex. I've got my cash, up, cash app up there and my Zelle and always my Patreon account as well well i hope you learned a lot about the red hook silver dollar and i hope you enjoyed this episode of aqua alex live 
I think this Tuesday, I am going to the local fish store to purchase some more red hooks if they have any in stock. I really, really love the red hook silver dollar. And I had a great time educating you about the red hook silver dollar. With that being said, make sure to give this video a like and share today's video if you enjoyed it. Happy holiday season, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to this episode of Aqua Alex Live. Enjoy the aquarium hobby and go get some Red Oak Silver Dollars. Aqua Alex saying thank you for tuning in and have a great rest of your night or day. Peace out, people. Aqua Alex Cardinelli here, and I'm here to announce the ultimate aquarium hobbyist giveaway. On Sunday, March 6, 2022, I will proudly celebrate my eighth year as a YouTuber. And to celebrate and say thank you to all the amazing aquarium hobbyists, and tropical fish keepers who have supported my YouTube channel over the last eight years. I am doing the ultimate aquarium hobbyist giveaway. There are three amazing prizes. The first prize is a $100 gift certificate to Tangled Up in Cichlids. Tangled Up in Cichlids is home to many awesome South and Central American cichlids, such as Oscars, Severums, Walru, Angelfish, Jack Dempsey's, Viajas, and much more. They also have Catfish, Flecos, Cherisins, and even African cichlids. The second prize is a $100 gift certificate to Aquatic Rarities, Inc., a.k.a. Malone's Monsters. Now, Bob at Malone's Monsters and Aquatic Rarities is a true aquarium hobbyist with a love for monster fish and tropical fish in general. You will find things like lungfish, Lipteris, arowanas, four-eyed anablips, and more cool oddball fish at Aquatic Rarities. And the last prize giveaway, and the third prize, is Little Egypt Aquarium Club gift certificate donated by Little Egypt Aquarium Club founder Jeremy Stellhorn. Now, on the Little Egypt Aquarium Club website, you will find aquarium supplies for sale, like Fuvel FX6 canister filter, hang on the back filters, aquarium heaters, and some awesome tropical fish food. You will be able to use that gift certificate to purchase some amazing aquarium supplies. So, Aquarium Hobbyist, to enter this giveaway, it's really simple. All you need to do is film a video of your aquarium and your tropical fish. In the video, talk about your favorite tropical fish species. Then tell me about what new fish you want to get and what aquarium supplies you can use. So since Tangled Up in Cichlids and Aquatic Rarities only supply freshwater fish, it is beneficial for freshwater hobbyists to enter. However, saltwater hobbyists are encouraged to enter as well. And if a saltwater hobbyist wins, they will win a gift card to either Live Aquaria or Blue Zoo Aquatics, provided that the winner is a saltwater hobbyist. So all you've got to do is film a video of your aquarium and your fish, 
and also talk about your favorite tropical fish species, talk about what new fish you want to get, and what aquarium supplies you can use. Email your video to alexgoyankeescardinelli19 at gmail.com by no later than March 1st, 2022. In your email, leave your name, your contact information in case you win, and of course, your video. Each video entry will be uploaded to my channel and in my giveaway playlist. The top three videos with the most views and likes will be the three winners and they will be announced live on March 6, 2022 during my eight year YouTube anniversary celebration live stream. Good luck aquarium hobbyists. This contest is open to every aquarium hobbyist, whether freshwater or saltwater, and any aquarium hobbyist in the United States of America. So enter right now. Good luck, and I can't wait to see your videos. Remember the deadline to enter, March 1st. Thank you for watching this episode of Aqua Alex Live here on my YouTube channel, the legendary Alex Cardinelli. I hope you, the amazing tropical fish keepers, enjoyed today's video. Please make sure to leave a like on today's video if you enjoyed it. And make sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Legendary Alex Cardinelli, if you enjoyed this video to see some more awesome episodes of Aqua Alex Live. Tank on fish keepers, and I'll see you on the next Aqua Alex Live. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everyone. Santa Claus Alex Cardinelli here, inviting you to be a part of the inaugural Christmas 2021 Bash, airing live just two days before Christmas, Thursday, December 23rd, 2021, at 11.15 p.m. Eastern, 8.15 p.m. Pacific. Join me, Santa Claus Alex Cardinelli, for a fun Christmas 2021 badge featuring an appearance from Chef Alex with Chef Alex's best cookie recipes. I have a very important message to give as Santa Claus, and I'll give out Christmas present ideas and so much more. Merry Christmas, everyone, and happy holidays. Mark your calendars, Thursday, December 23rd, 2021, 11.15 p.m. Eastern, 8.15 p.m. Pacific. Christmas 2021 Bash, live right here on Alex's YouTube channel, The Legendary Alex Cardinelli. See you then, folks. Merry Christmas.